so now let's create the topics where we need to sense the data here we have kafka setup that intellij open so let me show you the existing kafka topics that are there so actually i have cleaned up the entire cluster so whatever test topics were created they are not there as of now yeah so you see there are no topics here so what is the command for creating the topic here it is so i pushed these command lines that you were seeing on the gitlab so you can just uh, take their uh, that reference from here so i already have explained this all of these things right so i'm just copying the command from here for the windows file uh, for mac file it is slightly different so i am just pasting that here so what i need to change here topic name what is the name of the topic so we have this one microservice topic kafka topic chat gpt topic and others microservice topic partition custom partition i want to give it so let's give it three partitions so replication factor we have only one broker so we can't give more than one replication factor so even if you don't give it by default it is going to take one so next is the bootstrap server that local host so let's create the topic it is going to create the microservice topic it is created so next one i want to create a kafka topic second is created and uh, third one is the chat gpt and now fourth one we have others others topic okay so create it uh now let's list the topics this is the command for that yeah now we can see chat gpt kafka microservice other topics are there so now let's uh, uh, let's see what events are there so i want to uh, go there and i want to listen the chat gpt here so console producer not producer i want to consume the messages actually consumer from which topic microservice topic and bootstrap server is this one so going forward i am going to listen to this microservice topic whatever events will come i will be able to see that 9093 no uh, bootstrap server address is different Nine zero nine two. It should be nine zero nine two. Now it is going to listen the messages whatever is coming. So let me rename this session. So that we know microservice is there, and similarly, I want to have a nine zero nine two microservice topic. kafka topic just rename this one and next our uh, code oh, it is already there but the uh, slight name change chat gpt and last one it should be others that's it so now we have these uh, topics listed and these are the consumers whoever is going to if uh, there is producer producing events on these topics we will be able to listen from here okay so now we have uh, so for the for pushing the events uh, respective events we already have written the code but we have not executed it yet so what it is going to do it is going to read the file from here 
uh, where we have this data it is going to filter that the logic here i explained i have explained it in the previous video already so now let's run it if everything everything goes fine we should the, we should see the data in our topics so i'm just running this one it should finish up quickly because we don't have very much data so just adding the points in real time enterprise application also all of the logic is going to be same but you will have this data file very huge like in gvs or multiple gvs of data you will be getting and processing that one so producing the data is going to be the same consuming the data is going to be the same so you see the magic with this simple example you get the real time feel real time touch of the how enterprise applications work only change will be the business logic change that's it so first time executing intelliz it takes time to set that up yeah it executed properly i have not put any command line here or like uh, sys out or logger here otherwise i could have seen that what is happening so now let's move to our consumer you should see the magic now chat gpt you see every line has that has come here you will see the chat gpt keyboard there so chat gpt it is not case insensitive i converted to the lower case and then compared it so a uh, case is not a matter of concern kafka you can see all the kafka here kafka events here microservice all the microservices events you can see here going forward uh, like uh, whatever uh, next system uh, now we as we can see that we can produce the messages in our kafka topics now it's time that we create the consumer so can read the events from these uh, topics and process the events that's what we are going to do in the next video so till then take care bye bye